Thank you, David, and thank you all. On behalf of my cousin John and our entire family, we're pleased to accept the Family Heritage Award. But the real honorees are our fathers, Larry and Bob Tisch, and their father, Avraham, and his parents, our great-grandparents, Shlomo and Dinah, who, became the fir who first came to America in 1903, and also our other American-bound ancestors. First of all, we'd like to thank John Pilziker, the superintendent of the Statue of Liberty and Ellis Island Foundation, and all the people who work here for doing such a magnificent job every day. And we want to thank Steve Briganti and Albert Bellis and the directors of the Statue of Liberty Ellis Island Foundation. And we want to congratulate our fellow honorees, Kareem Abdul-Jabbar and Robin Roberts, both of whom we have long admired. Since the first non-Native Americans arrived, virtually every person who has come here has sought to take advantage of opportunity. America is a place where one could succeed with the least interference. There were plenty of jobs to be had and fortunes to be made. More than 100 years ago, America provided those same opportunities to our great grandfather, Shlomo Tetenskia, and his young son, Abraham, who as a, as a young child passed through this same room. Avraham's family had come from Dnepropetrovsk in Ukraine through Odessa sometime around 1903. They left because they felt imperiled as Jews in what was then part of Tsarist Russia, and certainly America sounded like a better place. As the video shows, the family was, name was probably misspelled here from Tetenskia to Tichinsky. And then, uh, obviously, Al was a basketball player. Not quite the same stature. He was a master of a set shot, but he was only 5'9", 5'10". But uh, uh, Gotish became certainly much better than Gotichinsky. But Al and Sadie worked hard. Uh, Sadie had come from Poland. They had two sons. They went into the camping business in uh, uh, the 1930s and uh, bought a pair of summer camps in New Jersey. They learned the real estate business there. The two boys, Larry and Bob, worked the summers in the, real, in the summer camp business. And after World War II, parlayed that knowledge into the purchase of the Laurel and the Pines Hotel in Lakewood, New Jersey, which they grew into what is now Lowe's Corporation. Despite all the focus on the business success, Al and Sadie, and Larry and Bob and our mothers, Billy and Joan, never lost sight of their philanthropic obligation to the community. It was a very important part of our family's legacy. Our fathers and mothers' con accomplishments are a tribute to the strength of the American ideals and a testament that many opportunities that exist exist only in this country. Although the debate on immigration these days centers around cultural I issues, the economic effects of immigration are clear. A study in 2011 by the Partnership of the New American Economy showed that 40 percent of the Fortune 500 companies were founded by immigrants or their children. These companies employ directly over 10 million people and have a combined market cap of $4.2 trillion, making them the fourth largest economy in the world. The list includes old establishment companies such as Procter & Gamble and U.S. Steel and Kraft and Goldman Sachs and AT&T. But it also includes some newer additions like Google and Intel and eBay. So whether a garment manufacturer or a camp operator, a basketball player or a journalist, America has been a place of choice to make a new life. America is and should always represent the ideals that allowed Shlomo and Dinah and Sadie and Al and Larry and Billy, and Joan and Bob, and all our families to prosper as Americans. We thank you very much for this recognition.